Hello, in this video I'm going to run through three Windows 10 Cyber Patriot forensics questions. So the first forensics question that we have on the desktop right here, forensics question 1, is asking for the MD5 hash of a file. Now to find the MD5 hash of a file, you will open PowerShell by just searching PowerShell in Windows search and PowerShell does take a little bit of time to open sometimes if you run it as administrator especially but to find it you just type git dash file hash space I'm not typing sorry about that git dash file hash space dash algorithm and then you type the f and then you type md5 and then space the path of the file so you can go to the forensics question and just copy the path Then now we need to go to File Explorer and find the name of the file that they're asking for us to find. So it would be under H, the user hwells documents. Flash underscore research dot txt. And then right here, it lists the MD5 hash of the file. You can just copy that, paste it right into the answer field right here. Now, the MD5 hash is a number and letter string that can basically tell you the integrity of a file by comparing it to other hashes that you may have from previous times. With forensics questions, once you enter the answer into a into the answer field, just remember to save the file, then you should be able to close out of it. Then we'll go into the second one. For this one, it's asking us to find the user of a file that owns the said file. So for this one, we're just going to go to the File Explorer, back to where we were. Then we're going to navigate to LSNART, which it mentions in the friends question. So we're going to go to his desktop. Oh, and there are our points for the first forensic question. That is really loud. I'll turn that down. All right, then I'm going to right-click this, go to Properties. It'll open up this, and then it will list the users that have permissions to the file in the security tab. Now going through all of these you can really just assume that the owner is not LSNART because the question asks for that and it's not Balin because that's the user of the computer that's trying to find out. So it would be the third user that has direct file permissions. Finding the owner of a file can be pretty useful in certain situations if you need to find out who created or downloaded a certain file that shouldn't be on the computer. Next, going to go to forensics question three for the last question. Now, this one is a base64 encoded message. 
normally the easiest way to decode these messages is to just look up a decoder. So just look up base 64 decoder. Click on first link, I'll copy this string, there's our points for the second forensic question, I'll just paste that there, decode it, you are cyber heroes. So I'll copy, oh, copy that, and paste it into our answer field. Save. Should be able to close out of all of these friends' questions. And that's a nice start on our scoring in our training image. We can go on to the scoring report. Friends, question one, two, and just now, three have been answered correctly for a gain of 30 points. So that'll be it for this video on the training images. We will also have a video about how to go through the rest of it, going through security flaws that it says in the readme, as well as other stuff like user auditing and simple stuff like that for the competitions that is a must know. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.